It's been more than a year since JUnit 5 was released, but even now, if you create a new Spring Boot application, by default it comes with JUnit 4. But Spring Boot can actually work very well with JUnit 5 and there is a very nice support for it. So what can you do if you want to include it in your project? There are a couple of small steps that I will show in this tutorial, but if you just want a piece of code to copy paste it to your project, there is a GitHub repository linked in the description. Okay, so let's start by going to start.spring.io and I will generate here very, very simple Spring Boot application that uses Maven and Spring Web MVC. Spring Boot by default comes with a Spring Boot starter test dependency that includes already JUnit. And how to find out which version is included? The easiest way is to go to Maven Projects tab over here. And if you expand the dependencies, you will see that there is a Spring Boot starter test that contains JUnit 4.12. So the first thing that we need to do is to add two dependencies needed for JUnit 5 and this is JUnit Jupyter API and JUnit Jupyter Engine. We don't need to specify the versions for these dependencies because Spring Boot comes with, a, with an import for JUnit BOM, which means that it resolves all the versions by itself. Of course, these two dependencies should have scope test. And the last thing is that we should exclude JUnit 4 from Spring Boot Starter Test Dependency. Now if we try to build the project, it will not compile because there is this one test that uh, uses JUnit 4 classes, so we have to migrate it to JUnit 5. And the migration is fairly simple, we just remove this run with statement, we remove all the unused imports and import test annotation from JUnit 5. Now if I run the test, it should run smoothly without any issues. If you have read some older articles about Spring Boot and JUnit 5, maybe you have seen that people use this extend with Spring extension class. There is no need for that anymore because Spring Boot test annotation comes now with this extend Spring extension out of the box. This process will be definitely improved in the future. There is an issue in Spring Boot project on GitHub where you can track what's the progress of integrating JUnit 5 into Spring Boot starter test. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button down below. And if you want to learn more about Spring Boot, Java and so on, and you like watching videos, consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you.